Lusoga is a land of two rivers. That is uh, the River Nile, Ochiira, and Mpologoma. Lusoga is also the land of two lakes, Naluvare and to the north, Choga. The Basoga are one of the oldest indigenous communities of Uganda. They swayed between Bunyoro and Buganda, or rather allied with Bunyoro of Uganda, depending on who the leader was. Defeated princes and defeated generals used the Busoga to reinvent themselves. The vice Ngovi, who controlled five of the were from Bunyoro. So Namutukura also came as a prince. He crossed River Nile with 11 clans from Bunyoro. He landed at a place called the Kaguru Hills. This area where we are was controlled by people who ran away from Buganda. James Huntington came here as bishop of this area. Mm. And he wanted to force his way into Buganda via the east. And they had to pass through Ruba's court in Bukareva. When this guy became obstinate, an order was given that he be executed. Because you cannot play with the security of a kingdom. Moreover, in the light of prophecy, which said that a force which shall destroy Buganda shall come from the east. Soga was not a kingdom. Soga had principalities by the time of colonial rule. These counties were amalgamated as a result of the coming of the British. It was a kind of an arrangement of the British. They wanted some kind of a local administrative structure which they could use, more organized like they found in Uganda. The British eventually set up a president of Soga Luchiko. That was uh, Kakungu. The first uh, Musoga uh, to be appointed uh, president of Soga Luchiko was Ezechel Wako uh, of Ulamot. Musoga had really green democracy, green uh, coming from uh, the land which was green and full of streams, full of water.